Here you see two maps of Cote d'Ivoire, one that has had its data classed using the quantile classification method, the other one using the equal interval method. Let's take a look at these two methods right now. If you have highly variable data, if you don't mind outlier values being less visible, if you wish to focus attention on relative rankings, if you wish to avoid empty classes and produce an even distribution of map colors, then use quantiles to map your data. For example, I have here a spreadsheet of population values from Cote d'Ivoire. You can see I have a range of low values and high values. Results using quantiles place an approximately equal number of observations into each class. Here's the map that is generated from our data using quantiles. You can see here I've broken the data into three classes and each class has an approximately equal number of observations. This is what we get using the quantile classification. Let's take a closer look at how we arrived at this result. In our data from Cote d'Ivoire, we have 19 observations, and we want to divide these into three classes. 19 divided by 3 does not go evenly, but we get approximately 6 observations in each of our classes. Now let's take a look at the equal interval method of classification. If your data are not highly skewed and are more continuous, if you wish to focus attention on the outliers, and if you wish each class range to be equal, then use the equal interval method of classification. Class ranges will be approximately equal, but there may be a different number of observations per class, especially if the data is skewed. In the case of our Cote d'Ivoire data, we have a couple of provinces that have a much higher population than most of the other provinces. Here's the map that's generated using the equal interval classification system. You can see that we have two classes which each contain only one observation, and then all administrative units containing fewer than 1,869,000 go into the smallest class. You can see that this map gives you a very different look. It draws special attention to the outlying higher values at one end of your data range. Let's take a closer look at how we arrived at this result. Using our Cote d'Ivoire data, we have a range of approximately 200,000 as our low value and approximately 5 million as our high value. If we subtract the low value from the high value and then divide this range by three classes, we'll get the following result with three equal ranges. 19 observations will fall into our lowest range, one into the medium, and one into the highest. You can see that this second method of classification gives a very different result. Be careful when choosing your map classification method. Different methods will be useful for different types of data.